this is Lauren Garlock, and we're at the Coley Dickinson Hospital interviewing Richard Corder, and he's just going to tell us a little bit about the wood chip burner and um, what it does. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here? Sure, Lauren. Um, I oversee operations and facilities management here at the hospital, and that involves a lot of the non-surgical departments in the hospital and our plant, which, of course, the wood chip plant is a part of. Um, we burn wood as our primary source of fuel here at the hospital, and which at its very uh, basic level saves us a considerable amount of money every year. And it's also a good thing to be doing for our community. And how much money do you think you have saved using the system? We probably save uh, anywhere from half a million to three quarters of a million dollars a year uh, burning wood instead of uh, oil. Is there any other reasons why you switched to the wood burning system? It, it was done at a time when, as we are today, faced with the realities of uh, diminishing resources and to be dependent solely on uh, oil-based products is, is, is a challenge for, for any organization, any, any part of our, our community. And so we looked at what are our options open to us and decided probably about 20 years ago that, that burning wood um, was, was a product that was, was sustainable, that was uh, replaceable. And the, the, the byproducts of the burn weren't, um, weren't that bad. Uh, the, the potash gets taken and, uh, by local farmers and put on their fields. And the, the smokestack emits uh, essentially, what well, by the time it's emitted, is, is a lot of steam. And everything else that is em it emitted is, uh, is pretty safe for the environment. The wood chips have been sized, they come through a hole in the wall, and they come down here to another sizing screen. This is the last chance for us to get any big sticks that may have made its way through the system. Yep. The chips go down and they come up this flight conveyor, and then they have that big long drum that's turning. And those chips actually go through there three times. They go down again before they go off to another another part where the dust is taken out of them, and then they're brought up to where they can put it put into the bins to serve the boiler. You'll be able to see that when you get a little further down. So those chips go into that dryer, and it's not just a straight shot through. They actually make three passes in there before they leave. And what we're using is we're using our exhaust gases from the boiler to help dry those wood chips before they get to the boiler. Way to a farm. Farmers use that uh, fertilizer. 